are driving to get some ramen right now. It's our favorite ramen in the Twin Cities. If you watched my last video or several other videos, you know that Sheen and I are moving to Florida and now it is only a month away. So it is bucket list time, favorite foods time. We are headed to our favorite ramen spot. They also have an amazing pork katsu sandwich that we always get. We ordered it to go, we heat it up at home, but just felt like we needed to go in and have the experience. It's been a little while too, so I'm very excited. been here before uh, Minneapolis has like all of these tunnels off the street able to walk their catwalks thanks Jane so that people don't have to go outside during the winter to get like anywhere in the downtown area it is like very very cold here <laughs> The shisha martini is very good. That's okay. probably the driest. I'll try the shisha okay. martini. I think we wanted to do the, you want to do the seaweed salad still, right? Yeah. Seaweed salad, and I like the abori salmon. Can I do the tonkatsu ramen and the kimchi? Like, can I kind of like combine them? Can I do like half tonkatsu broth and half kimchi broth and just like add everything that's <laughs> Do we want to do two pork sandos? I'm on a whole one. So. Okay, and so two pork katsu sandwich. And add the fries to mine. Yeah, I don't need fries, but seasoned yeah. fries. Yeah. I'm gonna have one. I experimented with it at home, and I really liked it. The kimchi is like pretty spicy by itself. Takatsu like cuts the spice, but adds all of that like delicious like porky flavor that I love. Let's see what I can do. <laughs> I'm so difficult. So, Shane, why do you like this place so much? Sounds like a Dragon Ball Z character. <laughs> Zen box? Does that really sound like a Dragon Ball Z character? It sounds more like a Dragon Ball Z character than most other restaurants. <laughs> Not because of the food or anything? You know, like Dragon Ball Z? Okay, okay, we hear you. We hear you. <laughs> Thank you. Got a leaf in your I know, I gotta show the people. That's good. She's so good. really strong. So I was a little worried, but that's it. Delicious. It's really not even torched on the top, so that's a little confusing. Yeah, I don't see any of the Every single night after I watched it, <laughs> like, 
Yeah. I've got to watch something funny before I go to bed or I'll have a nightmare. Anyway, so talking about cannibalizing, which doesn't make any sense to me. We're just splitting this ramen between our two bowls. We're like cannibalizing it. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, in the business world, it means like you cannibalize your own sales. Side note, you know that if you want extra noodles at a, at a ramen restaurant, it's so legit. You could say kedama. I'm so sorry if I'm not pronouncing it right. And that means more noodles. So we basically kedama ourselves. <laughs> Which sounds like Dahmer. And you just talked about cannibalism, and that just went full circle. <laughs> Wait, kedama? Bukama. What are you doing? Some self control. I don't know how much the broth is really mixing, but okay, I guess. <laughs> this is a real skill. The method, the method. Oh my god, it looks like particularly good tonight. It just looks crispy. Like, I don't have to touch it, I just know. The blue sky is happening out there. All right, you can't really see it. There it is, I changed it. You can see it happening. That cloud is moving away. We're getting our light back. I am not cursed. I feel like I get a lot of kick out of it. Try by itself. <laughs> 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 Alright. He's joking. This is like the only thing I know how to do well with chopsticks. You like grab a little a little bit of noodles. Watch me like not be able to do it right now. You don't have to use a spoon, you can just use like the bottom of your dish or whatever. You just like you twist it around your hands and I'm like it's beautiful. Golden shower of light. Y'all always request more shade, more shade, more shade. Just keep requesting. Oh, they don't have to come to your channel for more shame. They can go to Shirley Shark Catteries or Shirley Shark Catteries. Shane Cooters. has Instagram channels. They are here. Before I forget, if anybody is looking for an editor, my editor is taking new clients. And she is flipping amazing. She's really reasonably priced. And she's really fast. And she takes direction really well. So if you or anybody you know is looking for an editor, she's your gal. And this is her information right here. I'll put it in the description of the video, too. Make sure you put my information right here yeah yeah shane's information is also right here in case you want to like be involved with that i will say his cat account is particularly good it's him and butters and he's usually shirtless it's shirtless shirt catteries his other account is shirtless shirt no, and it's him that shirtless gets a little less action it gets less action for sure i mean butters is really the star all right he is if you know it whatever <laughs> he is just riding my coattails. Uh-huh. You want my pickles? Yes. No, no. What do you mean, no? No, don't put them in. said you wanted my pickles. <laughs> you wanted them. No, no. <laughs> You're eating soup? I'm eating pickles? Why can't you eat soup and pickles? Well, you should try it before you go and just disregard it like that. It's better on the sandwich, and now it's got broth all over it. I feel like you would like these mushrooms when you realize they're mushrooms, they're crunchy. Yeah, I know, because I used to eat them all the time before I knew they were mushrooms, and now that I know they're mushrooms, I can't eat them. Oh my god. I can't slurp. I want to be able to, I just can't. You got a different definition of slurp than I was referring to.
actually Tuesday now. Um, I shot the rest of the video on Friday and meant to do an outro when I got home and I forgot and I forgot again and now it's Tuesday. So I remembered tonight and I just wanted to say thanks for watching. Um, we really love Zenbox uh, for ramen, for obviously the pork katsu sandwich. Um, we love Spoon and Stable. I especially because their espresso martini, the desserts are always amazing, always amazing. So I'm really happy that I got to take you guys with us on Friday. Um, thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to spend with me. You know how much I appreciate you. Um, and stay tuned for more Minneapolis bucket list videos. Got less than a month left. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you.